te poesías, cuentos. Good morning, good morning. Next to my Airbnb adventure is making coffee. So I'm gonna use the like traditional thing they have here in Costa Rica. Also, it's not raining yet today and it looks really good out there. So far, so good. Other than that honking. Right now I'm heating water in there and then I put coffee grounds in here. Ooh, I'm just gonna pour the water through. Ready for my adventure on day one-ish of San Jose. I mean, clearly I'm not from around here, but whatever. I have a coat in my thing. I have my waist pack as always, sneakers, cause I'm doing a walking tour. I'm gonna be meeting my guide from my trip in April, which is so exciting that we're gonna get to meet up and he's gonna give me a little walking tour after we have some breakfast so I can like get to know the area. So this should be really fun. Uh, rep and burn boot camp. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday morning and I am striking out on my own. Now that I got the lay of the land a little bit, feeling a little bit better. I did not really get a lot of the sights yesterday. I was very overwhelmed. We saw so much stuff. It was like a four hour tour. So right now I'm walking to this cafe that my host recommends that she said, if you love coffee, you have to go. It's called Cafotea. Teca? No, Cafotea. And it supposedly has a ton of different types of coffee. So I'm gonna try them all. Just walked by a man. I don't know if it's normal to vlog here in public. So I don't know, but I'm gonna find it. It's gonna be great. There it is. So I ordered food. I wasn't sure if I was going to just get coffee or food, but here I am. So I got food. I got, I think I got French toast with like berries and a latte. So we'll see. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm giving myself a little tour of my neighborhood. That looks cute. There's the Spanish embassy in case I need it. My neighborhood is actually really, really cool. When I first got here, I was like, what the heck? But like when you zoom in on the map, there is so much stuff. There's so many little restaurants and cafes and things, and they're all like really cute and individual. Up there, that is my Airbnb. So it's also really nice because I never feel lost. I can walk around and I can just get back really easily. <laughs> Also, a lot of the streets are numbered, so it's pretty easy and it's like a grid. So it's not like Boston where the streets just go all crazy. Um, it's pretty easy to like follow where you're going and stuff. So far, so far. University, in case maybe I want to come back and study here. I mean, I don't see why not. Okay, I don't know what this place is, but it looks freaking cool. Saul, I mean, look at the zebras. Like, I have no idea, but I have to go back there, I think. I'm gonna look it up. Also, these trees with purple flowers are really pretty. I don't know what El Nino is, but that's a cute building. Hot 
Pachamama looks like a cute shop. This area has a lot of like street art and stuff. Like not even graffiti, like legit, like really cool stuff. I'm feeling happy and adjusted today. I had really good food. That cafe was amazing. I actually only ate one piece of the French toast and I took the other home so I can have it as a snack later. Then I found a nice little market yesterday. I was like, actually the past two days, I've been like freaking out that I had no food. I didn't even have milk for coffee. So yesterday I walked so far to a market and there was one right up the road. It's just like, Hard to find them because you put in supermarket and like it doesn't necessarily come up. Then I put it in like supermercado. I don't know. <laughs> I'm finding it a little bit challenging to find things other than just like zooming in on the Google map and actually like looking at the things around here. So I'm feeling a lot better because um, I found that great market. So I got yogurt, which I really wanted. Um, and it's the kind that I liked from my other place. And I don't know, I just, I'm excited. It's good weather right now. So I'm gonna go back out because literally the weather could change at any minute. And like, if it rains, then I'm gonna be probably like sad again. I think that's really affecting my ability to cope with my new surroundings. <laughs> but let me show you where I'm gonna go now. So way out there, there's like that stadium looking thing. So I'm just gonna walk to that. It's like a half an hour walk and then I'll walk back. And basically I walked there yesterday with my tour guide person. Um, we are gonna meet up tonight. And they also put out a message. I'm in this like women's travel group and there's people who live in San Jose. So I like messaged one of them just to see if she's available later, if she wants to hang out. Um, but I don't know. I think like it's tough because it gets dark early. It gets dark at six. And I've been told not to walk by myself at night, really, like that it's not super safe. I stick out like a sore thumb here. My clothes are totally wrong. Everybody's wearing pants and all I have is shorts, but it's like so hot for me. I can't even imagine like my guide was like, oh, just wear jeans. And I'm like, I don't even have jeans. I didn't even bring jeans this time. Um, like I have all beachy stuff. So like I'm wearing a tank top and jean shorts right now. Um, and I just like obviously stand out. So I don't wanna put myself in harm's way by going out at night by myself, like walking around if I shouldn't do that. But then that's like really hard. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I keep saying I'm coping, which is really like a terrible word because I am thriving. Like I'm having a really great time and it's really cool that I'm here. Um, but like, it's overwhelming. Like it's, you know, it's overwhelming to be a woman in a foreign city speaking another language, even though I speak it really well, but like, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's good because I know that this is like a really good experience for me to like grow as a human. Ready for my next adventure, tank top, jean shorts. These Lululemon shoes are the best. My Lululemon fanny pack, of course. And then I have a bag with my jacket because literally rain could strike at any time. And a power bank. I don't think I'll need it because I've been on airplane mode. And so it's really saving my battery, but just, I don't know. And then water because yesterday it got really hot out there. The sun came out and we were walking for like two hours in sun. I also actually put on sunscreen because yesterday I burned my forehead and shoulders and I don't want to do that again. And I did my chest because yesterday I had a higher neck shirt. So off we go. The pool is back. I'm so excited. Here it is. There's a little deck. There's another little deck. This is what they were fixing yesterday. So it's all fixed up doesn't look very deep, but I honestly don't really care. This is exciting. Um, the only thing, I did send home my quick dry towel and that's gonna be a little bit tough, only having one towel here. I do have my sand cloud, I guess, but yeah, that's the only, maybe the only difficulty here, but the pool is ready. 
more fun street art. Very cool. This building is really cool. There's butterflies on it. It's a pizza place. This is the Parque Nacional, the national park. I came here yesterday with Malo, I believe. It's all kind of a blur, but it's very nice. and a group checking it out. La bandera de Costa Rica. That was the Central Market. They have all different stands. There's like food stands too, but they smell kind of weird. I really don't like seafood, so I didn't want to accidentally walk by the seafood ones. Um, but that's like where you can go shopping if you want. I bought myself flowers for the apartment. I felt like it needed them. And he gave me a free daisy or whatever that is. Gerber a daisy. So that's exciting. I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> I am now in this huge square. So that's like the main road behind me. And then there's this big square. There's also like a SJO San Jose sign over there. Um, this is Oh, the Precolombino Museum, I think. Um, it's kind of overwhelming, but I'm glad I came down here yesterday, so I don't feel quite as like weird. It's definitely helping me. Starbucks. Okay, there's my name, Jess. I know it's wrong that I'm getting Starbucks in Costa Rica, but I have driven by the Starbucks farm here, so I think it's kind of okay. Um, they actually have some beans here from it, which is so cool. I'm so tempted to buy some, but then I'm also like, is that dumb? Um, I don't know. I might. Now that I know they're here, I can always come back. Um, but I got a vanilla cream cold brew, and I thought it would have the cream on the top, but it does not, so I don't know. And they spelled, oh, it tastes like it though. They spelled my name, yes, <laughs> for Jess. I love it, I love it. Here is my lobby with my elevator. I bought an umbrella just in time. I got to my apartment just in time. It is now raining. Apparently two o'clock is the San Jose rain time, whereas Tamarindo, it was four o'clock. I've learned. All right, so I am ready to go out. I only have sandals, I have a dress, I think I'm gonna wear my coat, and then I have my Lululemon belt bag that I'm gonna wear like up here. Here is the look with my belt bag. I feel like this is the safest option, so it's on my body at all times. Um, this is actually what I wore on my birthday, so it's very comfortable. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be fun. <laughs>
is now Saturday. I was looking for brunch options and that Saul place with the zebras from yesterday looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna head there right now. This is just one of my favorite outfits, Old Navy shirt, Target jeans, Lululemon waist pack. You know, I'm bringing a bag with my coat and umbrella because yesterday I bought the umbrella just in time. I got home just in time, so. We need to be ready for anything around here. Um, it seems like it rains around like two. It is only 10 o'clock now, but I don't know if I'm gonna like walk around more after. And like, I don't know if this whole two o'clock thing is like a hard and fast rule. <laughs> so I just wanna be prepared. Um, and then last night was salsa, but the band played like all different kinds of music. So I actually didn't get to dance as much as I was hoping because I don't know some of the different things they played, like how to dance them. I tried to learn cumbia, uh, it was a little confusing, um, but it was super fun and really cool. Like the live band was awesome. And then tonight, I think I have plans with someone from here, from a group on Facebook that I'm in. At seven o'clock, we're gonna have dinner right in my neighborhood. So that's really exciting to have some plans. Um, so I will, as always, take you along. So let's go to Seoul. It's already raining. I'm so frustrated. I walked out the front door and is like drizzling. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like such a brat right now, but I'm just like so annoyed. This is just not, I don't know what I was picturing. I wasn't picturing walking around in the rain, but I'm going to Saul. It's gonna be a really cool brunch. Check out my friend. Uh, that was delicious. It was so good. I got the crepe that had strawberries, mascarpone, and Nutella. Of course, I couldn't even finish it, so I'm bringing part of it home. Um, but it stopped raining, so that's good. Look at this house. 